So, so, so I, I go down and, and, and I look at Joanne and I smile at her and I, I say, honey, would, would you mind getting out and going in and getting our name on the list? And I mean, she just gave me one of those looks that'll kill. And, and cause you just don't do that to my wife, right? So I said, honey, there, there's some cars behind us. We, we need to do something. We go in and put the name on the list. So she begrudgingly got out of the car and went in to put her name on the list. I hurriedly parked the car and, and ran. It's a confession to get ahead of some of the people. So I go in, and lo and behold, there's no crowd there that night, and my wife is already sitting at a table. So, so I, I walk past all of these people and, and go in and sit down with my wife, feeling pretty good about my plan of being first in line. Well, you know, other people are now coming in, the ones that I passed up, and don't you know the people right across from us, Joanne works with those people, <laughs> husband and wife. Can, I, I mean, what are they thinking about me, right? So we have a polite conversation with them, and the server comes, and we put in our order, and I'm feeling pretty good. Got my order in ahead of all the crowd, and I'm going to eat, and then I'll be able to go home, maybe watch a ball game or whatever. So, so, so I'm sitting there after we place our order. Other people are placing their orders, and we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. And, and I'm noticing that all of these other people are being served their meal. <laughs> and this is my real confession. I looked at my wife, and I said, Joanne, what did you order that is taking so long <laughs> to prepare? We didn't have much of an evening that night. <laughs> but I think you get the story of how we are front of the line people. The vineyard owner went into the marketplace early in the morning and there was a group of men there willing and wanting to work and he negotiated a price, a daily wage for them and invited them to go into the vineyard. No less than four other times, the vineyard owner went back to the marketplace and found additional people idly standing by but wanted to work and invited them to go out into the vineyard to work for him that day. At dusk, he called his manager and said, go out and pay these men their day's wage, but do it this way. Pay those who went into the vineyard last, those that have only been there an hour Pay them first. And those that suffered through the burdens of the day and the scorching heat, allow them to be last in that line. And so the manager lined up the people and began to pay the workers. In the first man's hand, he pressed a coin. And he must have heard a gasp. In the second man's hand, he placed a coin and there was another gasp. They looked down and they realized that they've been paid a full day's wage for only an hour's work. They were filled with joy, slapping each other on the back with excitement. Those further back in the line saw what was taking place. And they must have been thinking to themselves, if they are earning a full day's wage, can you imagine how much we're going to be paid when we get to the front of the line, as they worked their way up the line, they found that same coin pressed into their hand. That is the wage that they had negotiated. That is the wage that was paid. But the men grumbled. They were angry. We expect to be paid for the labor that we put in. You paid them a day's wage. We expect more. We did more work. We are the people that are at the front of the line this day. The vineyard owner came up to them and said, Friend, I've paid you exactly what we have negotiated. Would you begrudge me my generosity? And he walked away. I'm curious, where do you see yourself in the line of people, in that line of workers? 
Barner group that does religious studies took a look at this parable and interviewed 100 people. 99 out of the 100 people saw themselves as front of the line people. Those who went into the vineyard early worked all day in the scorching heat and expected a fair pay. And when they were not paid a fair amount, they became very disgruntled. Jesus shows up and stands in front of the men, stands in front of us, and he has some questions for us to ponder. Jesus says to us, is it possible that God is trying to tell you that there are many people who are more deserving than you are? Is it possible that God is saying to you, do you really know your place in line? Is it possible that God is saying to you, is your way the same as my way? Is it possible that God is saying to you, would you Question your notion of what is fair. For many of you have gotten far more than what you have earned. And yes, there have been days when you have received far less than you deserve. But the real question is this. Would you begrudge God of God's generosity? That's a question that you have to answer. 